Welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, if you attempted to um, watch my live this morning, I apologize in advance because, yeah, I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's my internet, but nothing seems to work. I've contacted my internet provider. They said that I've got a good speed, so it's, it's nothing that's on their end. Um, it's a, I have a brand new computer. I have no issues with the computer otherwise, but anytime, and I've got a good computer. So I don't know. I'm just over the, the live trying to do a live. So I'm going to talk to Pippa and see if we can try, um, scheduling me for a live at a different time of the day and see if that makes any difference. Um, it could be my weather. It's been breezy here, which it really shouldn't have anything to do with our weather because here in Vegas, most of our lines are underground. It could be just that we are in a very, we're in an older part of town. Well, it's a newer part of town, but when I say newer, with being in Vegas, you know, 20 years is still considered a reasonably new part of town. And I'm just, I don't think um, these internet providers are updating and upgrading their equipment um, in areas like mine. I think it's, they're only focused on the new areas. I know CenturyLink said that they were not going to invest any more money into upgrades in this area. So we switched we had them when we first bought our home, which was we three years ago come June. And uh, they said they weren't going to update or upgrade anything. They were done. All the money that, and this came from a, a person who came to my home to check my equipment and such. Check the lines. And he said, yeah. He said, you know, you're, you're in a really bad area of town for internet because they're not going to do anything to improve it. So I got tired of giving them money every month for poor service. So we switched to Cox and Cox is obviously, at least for recording, it's, I mean, for uh, doing lives, it's not much better. But for the most part, watching videos, I mean, yeah, I get the squirrel, I mean, the uh, hamster wheel like everybody else does, but for the most part, it's, that's our, really my only issue is trying to go live. And it could be, like I said, the time of the day, or it could be that it's just my internet's bad. But enough said about that. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's having a fantastic Tuesday. Um... I had plans to do my live and then if the live did not work, um, to go ahead and do a whip and chat. And, uh, then I have a house to clean because I was trying to tell you in my live, I am now babysitting in 18, he's either 18 months, going to be 19 months or he is 19 months old little boy who is a handful. I mean, he's a good baby for his parents. <laughs> um, I don't know how he is for other, other people that have watched him, but <sighs> anytime I've watched him, he does nothing to just scream. And it's not just, you know, your, ba your regular, just baby cry or holler. No, it's constant, blood curdling scream and it's pretty much the whole time that he that I'm watching him <clears throat> um even i mean okay this is this is how yesterday went his dad dropped him off at 
about a quarter till ten yesterday morning. And he had to load my car. He had to put his car seat in my car. And had to carry in um, the high chair and the diaper bag and you know all that stuff. So he handed him to me. And as soon as he handed him to me, he just went limp in my arms and threw his body, his head back, and screamed. I mean, full on scream. And <clears throat> his dad, you know, was having to help you know, get stuff brought in the house and in the car and. There's nothing that he could do, and he wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna change anyway. The only way he was gonna stop screaming is if his dad took him and he left, which was not an option. So I brought him in the house. I sat him on the floor, and he stood in my front room for 45 minutes and screamed. It didn't matter what I did. I brought him things to you know distract him. I <clears throat> turn on the TV and put on his favorite shows. No, he just screamed. And if I walked out of the room, the, he wouldn't, his screaming would subside a little. I mean, he'd still be screaming, but it just wouldn't be the high-pitched scream. I'd walk back in the room. He'd start screaming. I'd give him something. He would throw it. Finally, I just got tired of it of the him standing there screaming and I picked him up and I brought him in here to the family room and on my way in he just went limp in my arms threw his head back went limp in my arms almost dropped him and he's not heavy I mean he's he's actually very light for he doesn't even weigh 30 pounds I mean I mean he may he might weigh 26 pounds if he's lucky but um, when they go limp in your arms and it's dead weight, you're not expecting it. Yeah, I almost dropped him. <coughs> Excuse me. Put him in his height chair. Well, I put him in the on the couch while I was making him breakfast, and had his um, word party. I think it's called on Netflix. Had that on for him. Nope, that didn't make him happy. And then there's some kind of other, I can't remember the name of the show that he likes. Um, tried Caillou. I, I tried four or five kids, you know, Disney shows and, or, you know, the educational shows. I gave him his little truck that he likes. He threw it. So he didn't have that for the rest of the day. Um... So then I had his breakfast ready and gave that, you know, put him in his high chair and uh, I gave him a half of a banana. He ate a quarter of the half. Um, I mean like a quarter of a quarter, I actually should say. It was like two bites and, you know, baby bites are small. I gave him two like silver dollar size pancakes. I was really excited and I was like, wow, you ate one of them. I walked past a little while later and I walked, I was like, one of them was gone. Cool. He ate, he actually ate something. Yeah. Um, no, it was on the side of my cabinet stuck. I found it later on. Um, he's veg they're, they're raising him vegetarian. Well, the father's raging, raging, raising him vegetarian. The mother has no say, apparently. Um, so, I don't live a vegetarian lifestyle. Um, I'm nothing wrong with it, but I like, I like my meat. I, I mean, I love vegetables and fruits and stuff, but... You know, I mean, I don't have to have meat with every meal. I don't have to have meat every week, but I like to have, I like meat. I like chicken. I like turkey. I like pork. Um, I love bacon and sausage. So, yeah, we will not go vegetarian. Um, 
most of my things that I have here are soups that have meat in them or um, SpaghettiOs or, that have meat, ravioli, you know, those types of things that have meat. They are, right now, I mean, his dad says he's vegetarian, but they're, they're technically not. Um, that's technically a pescatarian. For those of you that don't know what a pescatarian is, they don't eat um, ground animal. I guess is the way my daughter tried to explain it to me. <clears throat> they will eat fish and seafood. Um, they will eat dairy products, eggs, and, you know, all that. But um, he's just not doing any red meat or any, like I said, pork or, or poultry. So, anyhow, he really didn't eat, especially considering, that, like I said, I found a pa uh, pancake on the side of the cabinet. Um, I have an island in the middle of my kitchen, and that's when he threw it, it stuck to this, and I didn't see it. Anyway, um, so I tried giving him tuna for lunch. Yeah, that was a no. Mm -mm. That, that turned out bad. Uh, my poor dog would not come downstairs yesterday because he couldn't handle the screaming. Um, finally, he did, um, he finally did take a nap. So that, that was a good thing. Um, when he woke up from his nap, um, it was the same thing as it was before I went to sleep. <clears throat> so I finally decided I was just going to take him home um, and watch him there because uh, I thought maybe being more um, familiar surroundings it might help. And no, it didn't help then either. It's just... He is not around, he's only around familiar people. Um, familiar people are the ones that watch him. And, you know, um, that's, I'm not saying parents should subject their kids to strangers. But, you know, it makes it a lot easier when a stranger does have to watch somebody's child. Or something. I won't say stranger because I mean I've watched him before. I'm just not a familiar. Um. Sorry, I wanted to. I wanted to clear, uh, remove my Facebook post about the uh, live since it's not happening. But you need to. <clears throat> <coughs> I believe that you need to have your children around, and get them acclimated with people. Because in cases of emergencies, where you might need to have a neighbor that you know, but you just don't see very often, or you know, that you're not around very often, or just an acquaintance in general, you're not around often, but you know them, and your children know them. So if they have to be watched by said person, they're okay with it. Or, you know, a daycare center. They have him in daycare one day a week or two days a week. Two days a week they have him in for four hours a day. So he can get used to other kids. <clears throat> well, it's not so much the kids that he needs to get used to, I feel, at 18 months. I think it's just adults because the adults are the ones that are going to be watching him. But this is also um, gives her, gives the mom a chance to... Um, study because she's not only working a full-time job but she's also going to school she's a student mad props because I don't know how she does it with the way her the way her life is I don't know how she's doing it but we're not gonna go there that's not my place to talk about but um yeah so anyway I'm exhausted from yesterday and I have him again tomorrow from 11 to 7. 
So I'm going to try and get all my housework and stuff done today, and I am going to um, watch him over there tomorrow. He can, he can terrorize his house, not mine. My poor dog won't have to be afraid. Um, yeah, so, and right now I'm working on, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I think I'm getting a cold. Right now I'm working on um, Seabreeze Trail, Diamond Art Club. Let's see if I can get this right. There we go. That's crooked and blurry. We're going to look into getting a new camera. There we go. I think that helps a little. Yeah. I'm looking into getting a new webcam so things won't be so blurry. Um, I'm working on this. I started this, um, when did I start this? February 8th. Yeah, I started this February 8th. I'm still doing the uh, slash the stash and whip the whips. I'm trying to get some of last year's paintings that I've already either started or kitted up. Finished before I start anything new. So, um, I won't be anything that I get that I order and receive moving forward. I will not even be kidding up because if I kid it up, then I want to work on it. So, um, that's one of the bad things of opening them to review them. As soon as I open them, it's like, oh, I have to do this one and I have, I have to do it right now. I don't have any Harbor Freights. I don't have any storage systems available. So but I still have to do it. So now I run out and I buy more storage and I kit it up and then it ends up sitting there. I'm not doing that. I will open it up to do a review or you know, an unboxing and, and such. But um, once it op gets opened, it's getting put back in and getting put away until I get some of my stash worked through. Um, I do have four diamond art clubs that I will be receiving on Thursday. I ordered them Saturday. They should be here on Thursday. Um, I think one, one of them is a new release. I'm pretty sure. Let me see here. Pretty sure one of them was a new release. I just can't remember. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's, I cannot remember if I bought a new release or not. I mean, I know I have a new release. I can't remember if that was the only one. But I know at least three of them are Chuck Pinson, which he has recently become my favorite artist on Diamond Art Club. I mean, I love Hannah Lynn. I love Mandy Manzano. But Chuck Pinson has... I th After I get my order on Thursday, I think I will have all of the Chuck Pinsons that are currently on the website. And I don't know if he has any that's been removed and, you know, they're no, they've discontinued them or not. But... I think this is going to give me like nine Chuck Pinsons. Something like that. Yeah, I really love his work. I have been trying to get a Time for Reflection, I think is what it is. That's the one that I really want. <coughs> it's always out of stock. I, I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can find a D stash group that has it or is that I just absolutely love that painting. Love that painting. So if anybody has it and doesn't want it, let me know. Or if you're in a D stash group, um, and you happen to see somebody D stashing it, Please contact, you know, tag me and let me know so I can go and see, you know, what they're, if, how much they're you know, selling it for. Because 
I'm not going to pay more than what I would have with Diamond Art Club. And I see a lot of sites that are actually doing that. I see a lot of D-stash sites that they're selling it, trying to sell it for more than they bought it for. And um, I won't pay for more than the original price. Or, and when I say more than they bought it for, I'm not saying, okay, they may have gotten a discount. <clears throat> um, so obviously they're going to try and make some money off of it, but no, they're actually trying to sell it more than the listing price on Diamond Art Club or on, on Amazon or whatever. I've seen people doing that, you know, say they paid $49.99 for it on Amazon, or I mean on uh, Diamond Art Club. I've seen people on d -stash groups, and this is yarn, this is diamond paintings, these are coloring books, d -stash, but all the things. They're saw, trying to sell it for $10 or $15 more than they paid for it. Then the, the listing price. So I have um, removed myself from the majority of the D-stash groups. There's no sense in being on something that, um, <clears throat> I would not buy from. There's just no way. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. That was like a second for you, but it was about four or five minutes for me. I had a phone call. I need a sip. Coffee. Have to have the coffee <laughs> helps helps a little bit. So anyway, um, I this weekend my husband is going to be going uh, to visit his dad in Arizona. So it will be just me and my son that'll be home. So I'm hoping to be able to get some videos up. My unboxings, um, like I said, I have four paintings coming, but I'm going to unbox them one at a time. So there'll be four unboxings that'll be coming up. Um, also, I'm going to be play, trying to, uh, I'm trying to find giveaway items because I have reached my 100 miles, 100 subscriber milestone. Yay. And right now, I currently have 178 subscribers, so I am 18. No, that was bad math. Oh, goodness, I'm 22 subscribers away from 200. So I will be having my giveaway for my 100 subscribers and then my 200 subscribers. I was going to do them, you know, 100, then 150, and then 200, and then at the 200 mark, I wasn't going to have another giveaway until I reached 500. But I'm going to do 100 subscriber, and then a 200 subscriber, and then the 500 subscriber. I'm hoping my 500 subscriber is going to be a, a fairly big giveaway. Um, I don't have, I have things in mind that I'm going to get, but I haven't gotten anything yet. <clears throat> I um, was hoping to be able to get some input from my subscribers, but no one has um, given me any, suge any suggestions yet. Um, I haven't tried any of the patty wax or the whimsical daisies wax yet. I've heard, I've heard so much good and bad about it, and I don't want to come off that I'm a cheapskate, but I am. <laughs> I I am. I don't want I don't want to buy something and then it not like it. And I know the only way you're going to find out is to buy it and use it. But with what you're paying for the wax and then the shipping, if you don't like it, that's it's wasted money and I don't want to waste money, you know, so I'm going to look into some of the samples. Um, 
I am making some cover minders. That will be um, part of my giveaway. There will be some cover minders. I'm going to make some for... I was making them for Valentine's Day, but... Well, going to make them for Valentine's Day, but... I have to get some different magnets. My magnets that I have are really strong. They're good magnets, but I think they're too small. And the glue that I used, I used the Gorilla Glue, the Gorilla Super Glue, this stuff here. And um, yeah, it didn't last for very long. So I'm going to find another type of a adhesive for it. Try it again with something else. Um, but I'm making some for St. Patrick's Day. I have some princess, Disney princess cover minders I'm going to be making. I have poop emojis. Um, I have a couple other little odds and ends things. And then I want to work on some Easter emojis. Or I mean Easter emojis. Easter cover minders. So I'm hoping to get those made and trying to decide if I want to do an Etsy shop or not. Or if I just want to do something like, um, just like... Ash Inc. does, where she just does them on Facebook. So I'm looking into doing that. I'm considering getting a diamond painting um, as part of the giveaway as well. And um, some a pen, a diamond painting pen, or maybe some Harbor Freights. So, you know, put in the comments what you would be interested in. If you're going to enter in the giveaway, then I want you to enter for something that you want. Otherwise, what's the point? Why enter into a giveaway for something that you're not going to want or you're not going to use or that you already have a, you know, a, a mass ton of. So, you know, put in the comments, give me some ideas, um, some suggestions and maybe drop some links to the places that I can go to and look, look at these items. But <clears throat> I'm hoping to have the giveaway by the end of March. So that gives us about a month and a half to be able to um, get everything together. And my giveaway is going to be random questions that you will, it'll be either a random question that you'll find in one of my videos or I might throw in, there might be something on my drafting table, which is where I diamond paint, <clears throat> or I might mention a color, actually say the color or the symbol, which if I do a symbol, I will only do one symbol. I might say, oh, I'm working on this is just an example. This is not, if you answer the question in this video, it won't count. This is just me explaining it. I might say, oh, I'm working on the percent sign symbol. Or what's the color for this, or the number for the percent sign symbol? And then you will put that in the comments and I will, um, Put in, you know, those in the ran put those videos in the random comment generator. It will be one comment per person per video. So I will be um, taking out all the extra comments. I want to make it fair that everybody has a chance, especially since I don't have a lot of subscribers yet. Um, I don't want to um I just wanted to be fair that everybody has a chance to win. So but I said there will be one winner for the hundred subscriber and one winner for the two hundred subscriber. If I get to five hundred by the time um I'm I do the giveaway, then there will be, you know, a third um, winner 
and it will be, they'll be the first prize winner, the second prize winner, and then they'll be the grand prize winner. So, um, if anybody, any creators out there that make pens or cover minders or the waxes, if you want to contact me and, um, send me your site that I can take a look and see and go from there. Let me, let me get a color right now. I'm jabbering and I'm not diamond painting. I'll never get anything done if I don't pick something here. So, um, let's see what else. Um, I want to thank Mrs. Coffee, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee for, um, the one hour whip and chat challenge and you know her posting us on her group page as well as in her playlists for everybody that's done the whip and chat the one hour whip and chat challenge it's made a vast improvement I can say on my channel I'm sure it's done so for the other people that entered their um, one hour whip and chat it's nice that we've got, you know, that Mrs. Coffee, you know, she's well revered in the diamond painting community. She's a hoot. There's times where I just, my day's not going the way that I um, anticipated to or hoped that it would. And I just need a laugh or something to take my mind off of what's going on in my personal life and I'll go on and I'll rewatch videos that I've seen three, three, four times. I'll just keep watching because that particular video may be what I need to get me out of my funk for the day. Um, I love to hear about her family stories. I love to hear about the mishaps with the dogs, her trips to the school to pick up the kids, they're just, I don't know so much if it's the story that's funny or how she tells it, but I have much respect for Mrs. Coffee as a creator, as well as a human being. She's, she's the type of person that I think I could sit down, <laughs> have a conversation with and want to sit and have a conversation with. You know, she's, she's real. There's no candy coating it. You know, I, I just, I have so much respect for Mrs. Coffee. Um, Rachel Ray. What can you say about Rachel Ray? Um, I have, as much as I love watching her videos, I have a hard time staying awake. Not, she, she's not boring by all means. She has just got that voice that lulls me into a zen relaxed relaxed relaxing mode i mean just i fall i actually if i have a hard time falling asleep at night i will watch or listen to one of her videos and my eyes are trying to stay awake to see what she's doing but my ears <clears throat> are just they're filled with that soft soothing calming voice um, I, I love Rachel Ray as well. Um, though those two seem to be the videos that I watch most these days. Um, I love Stitcherista. Stitch, Stitcherista, she's my girl. Um, she's another one that says it like it is. Now me, I am a say it like it is type of person. I just, um, I try to be careful. I, I'm just being really careful on my channel, really careful, um, because my grandchildren might watch my videos, and that's a side of me that they don't need to see. <laughs> um, my kids already know what I'm like, so, but I don't want my grandchildren to hear. There, I'm a, I'm Gigi to 
my youngest granddaughter, or I mean, not my youngest, sorry, not my youngest granddaughter, to my soon to be four year old granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter, I will be GG too as well, but she's only three months old. But yeah, um, I, my, my grandchildren just don't need to see, <laughs> see me, uh, in my colorful, colorful, um, ways. So anyway, um, yeah, shout outs to those, those three creators there as well as there's, there's many other creators that I, I love to watch. I personally like the long whipping chats. I seem to get more done watching a whipping chat. If it's a long one, then it is a short one because I get into a rhythm when I'm going along and when I have to stop and try and find another video to watch, it throws me off. So I love when they have the long whipping chats. I miss Stitcherista's um, diamond painting videos. I, I, I'm trying to learn how to cross stitch and I'm failing at it miserably. Um, so it's nothing against cross stitch. I mean, I think it's unbelievable, but with cross stitch, I tend to want to watch what she's doing. With diamond painting, I want to listen. <clears throat> so I really miss Stitcherista's um, diamond painting videos. I miss the day in the life videos that she used to post. Um, so, but I still watch, I still watch all of her videos or listen to all of her videos. Um, I'm just, a lot of changes have taken place this past year. And a lot of it has to do with, I think more and more and more creators are doing less. I've seen less videos in the past six months that are being put up than the whole little over a year now that I've been diamond painting. Iacopa has a lot to do with why creators kind of left the YouTube scene more or less, but also the haters coming on criticizing about what they talk, what a creator's talking about or that they don't, you know, I, I'm seeing this with Stitchery says commented about it a lot that she'll make a video about say diamond painting and her stitching her, her floss tube people don't want to see diamond painting and her diamond painters don't want to see cross stitch and her cross stitch and diamond painting subs don't want to see coloring and you know Everybody has their niche. Everybody has their interests. And when you have a creator who is, likes several different crafts, you're not going to be able to appease everybody. I mean, it's just not going to happen. There's not enough hours in a day, especially for somebody like Stitcherista who works long hours and her, her day can start, her, her, work, her job can start in the afternoon and take her into the nighttime. Or could start in the morning and take her into the nighttime. And you know, she still has a house to care for and a husband, and she still needs to have some time to herself, too. She's more than just a wife, more than just an employee, and more than just a YouTube creator. But to have somebody come on her channel, watch a video, and then post that they don't like cross stitch. Fine. Don't like cross stitch. Don't watch the video if it's cross stitch. If you don't like cross stitch, don't watch the video. You have all the right in the world, but you don't need to come on there and let her know you don't like cross stitch. She created this channel for her. She creates the content for her subscribers, but she has subscribers that have she has multiple interest subscribers. 
Some only like specific things. Hey, that's fine. Don't watch the channel if it's something that you don't, you're not interested in. She has other subscribers that are interested in it. And like she has said multiple times, she is not just a floss tube channel. That's why she does multiple things. Um, Mrs. Coffee, she's the same way. She does coloring. She does um, diamond painting. She does her loom knitting. You don't have to watch the, that type of video if you don't like that type of a craft. And it's fine. She's okay with that. Eventually, I'm going to be putting different things up on my um, channel. If you don't like cro uh, cause I'm crocheting, if you don't like to crochet, don't watch a crochet video. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is you coming on my channel and saying, I don't like crochet. Why are you crocheting? I want you to diamond paint. Or I don't want you to diamond paint. I want you to crochet. This is my channel. And no one wants to be told what to do in their everyday life, much less on their channel. And from strangers. You know, you're not paying for these things. Now, if there's something, and I'm not asking for people to buy me anything. No. I'm just making a point. If there is something specific that you want me to do on my channel, outside of what I already do, then if you're going to tell a creator what they've got to do on their channel, then you need to supply that creator with that item. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, their suggestions. You know, people suggest something for you to try. Yeah, but that I'm getting at... When I say that, I, this is going to come out wrong, and I'm sure I'm going to get slack for it. But if you're going to come on my channel and say, I don't like diamond painting, I don't like crochet, I don't like um, cross-stitch, because if I can ever figure out how to do cross-stitch, I will be doing cross-stitch videos. That will happen in time. But if you come on my channel and say, I don't like any of those things. I'm looking for a, let's say, um, a paint by number. Um, I won't do paint by numbers, but on my own. I mean, it's something that I, I really don't have an interest in. But I'm going to say, if you want me to do, if you're coming on here and say, I'm looking for a color by number channel. And why do, why won't you do color by number? This is just an example. Because, I, you know, like I said, I'm not asking anybody to buy me anything or send me anything. I'm just proving a point that if you're going to come on and complain about everything that I'm doing, you don't like anything that I'm doing, and you want me to do something else, then, yep, okay, if you want me to do it, buy it, I'll, and send it to me, I'll do it. I'll make sure that um, I tag, you know, tag you in the video or such, let you know that it's up so you can watch it. The point I'm making is you can't go on somebody's channel and complain about everything that they're doing, and you don't like this, or you don't like that, because there are plenty channels, plenty of other channels out there that have content that you are interested in and don't have don't post content that you don't care about that's my point that I'm making um, to go on somebody's channel and criticize them about what they're doing or a video you don't like or even how they act in their video it's their channel most cases um, they warn you ahead of time that if you're sensitive to a certain topic or sensitive to swearing, <clears throat> this might not be the channel for you. <clears throat> but if you decide to stay and listen, you don't have the right to comment poorly on it because you made that choice. You were warned ahead of time that there may be swearing. Same goes for a book review. I was watching a channel and they were talking about a book they read. And they warned you ahead of time. If you have not read this book, 
or if you are currently reading this book, you may not want to continue watching because there will be spoilers. And people continue to sit through the entire channel or the entire video. And at the end of the video, they commented that they now ruined, you ruined the book for them. Now they, they wasted their money buying this book. Now they can't read it because they, you gave away the, the story. You, you cannot do that. You, she said ahead of time. And there was warnings throughout the description. There was warnings in the very, very, very beginning that she was going to be discussing the book. And you, right before she discussed it, she said, okay, this is the time now that if you do not want to hear about the book, you know, this is where you want to end watching my video. And what did they do? They sat and watched the whole video and they chastised her for giving away information about the book. So, I think this is where it's creators aren't wanting to create. Because, yeah, it's just somebody putting a thumbs down or it's just somebody saying something. But, you know, we these creators take time away from their own personal life to put content up for their subscribers. And... They, they have people forget that, yeah, there may be a screen between us, but that doesn't stop the fact that we have feelings, you know? And when we're putting things up, I mean, I'm still really new and I'm still really raw and shaky. And my videos are fewer and farther between because my nerves and not knowing what to talk about. And, you know... <clears throat> I don't know a lot of creators personally. Well, I mean, outside. I, I mean, I know them on Facebook, just like most people do. But I don't have close relationships with creators that we discuss a lot of things. So, I said, I'm still very new. And I live a very boring life. I mean, for the most part, I, I, I live a very... Um, simple life. I don't have a lot of good stories to talk about. I don't have, I'm not, I'm trying not to buy a lot because I'm trying to pay off Christmas. So it's not like I, I have money and I'm just buying things and can review things and all that. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm, I'm a catch 22 when it comes to my channel of how often I'm going to be able to put videos up until I can figure out my own method. And I am a whip. I myself am a whip. I am a work in progress. So I worry when I do put content up. Oh, why am I froze up? Even in videos, I'm freezing up. Hold on here.